if you've seen the facility or if you spent any time at Dorothy Day, I think everybody understands how we have outgrown the facility, that the need is great. We are not stepping up in the proper way as a community, and we aim to fix that. We're all just one step away from a layoff, a recession, a foreclosure, a mental health crisis, or frankly serving in the military that could change our lives forever and make this incredible resource important to each and every one of us and our families. When you see hundreds of individuals who are from 18 and 19 years old to 75 years old come by to be served food with all they own on their back, you're really moved by the fact that this is the one point of stability in their life. It's really tough to think about what your life is going to be like, how you're going to be successful when you don't have a place to call home. We've been out there making requests. And I will tell you, this is, you know, it's God's work. This is really fun. It's very easy to get passionate about. In the midst of the growing prosperity in downtown St. Paul, uh, this is so fitting that we set aside this, this space for the, the least of these, our brethren. It is deeply meaningful that we all came together to live up to the potential that we have in the city of St. Paul and to do right by all of our residents. So I'm really thankful to be here celebrating the reality of a world that we dream, where every person will be able to have shelter. Every person will be able to find home where every person will have the opportunity to grow and to potentially be prosperous. If this public-private partnership that we have built and is performing so well, if it continues to perform, this whole project will be completed in December 2018. And in projects like this, that is record pace. It must be a